Shalom, Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Radash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to the few Akwath listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled, Be Not Ashamed of This Truth. Okay? Because we already know that um, what we believe in, the names that we call on, the way we interpret the Bible is contrary to popular belief. All right? And you know, uh, for the most part, when we bring this word onto our people, it is rejected. You know, the people mock at it, they scoff at it, or they just simply can't, you know, their their eyes are just simply not open, opened to receiving this truth. All right? But that doesn't mean that we shall be ashamed of it, you know, even though right now, you know, uh, what we what we do see is the prosperity of the wicked. But what these people don't understand is that they're being ensnared. They're being trapped because what they don't understand is that this society is circling the drain. And if you can't see that this society is, is, is falling, then that means you're falling with it, man. You know, the Lord is going to deceive, uh, um, you know, those that can't receive this truth by their own devices. All right. But we need not to be ashamed of this word. We need not to be ashamed to be ashamed of calling on the on the real names of our power, man, our powers. Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh Shai, which Wa means and. You see, because we know that our reward is great if we endure until the end. All right. So let's start off over here in the book of Matthew, chapter five, and verse eleven, in which it reads, "This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you." And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. You see, so really and truly, you know, from the outside looking in, the people would interpret us as to being in a very dire situation. You know, like there's uh, what's going to be the outcome of all that we're doing. OK, two thirds of our people, along with these heathen nations, can't see why we're willing to go through the sufferings that we're going through. All right. So it said, blessed are ye when men shall revile you. So um, let's look up the definition for revile. It says here, hold on. It's going to relive. <laughs> One second. To criticize in an abusive or angrily insulting manner all right and that's that's pretty much what happens man you know when you let jake know your interpretation of the bible the true names of yahweh by shim yahweh shai and um you know what's about to get ready to happen to this place they criticize us in a abusive or angrily insulting manner they basically belittle us they you know they make it seem like we don't know what we're talking about they look at us as if we've got 10 heads all right, but that's because the Heavenly Father has blinded them, man. He's put that spirit of deep sleep upon them, you see. And they're not going to understand this truth right up, right up until the point, the time of judgment, okay, as it is written. You can read that in, uh, I believe that's Isaiah chapter 6, I think at, um, around the 11th verse, okay. So, yeah, that's what happens. They criticize us in an abusive or angrily insulting manner because ultimately those demons that are within that are within them don't want them to wake up to this truth so you know they be working on their minds so that they they just straight up reject it man but you see jake is going to be in straits when they realize that those same men that they rejected that they didn't want to hearken on to uh, which ultimately is the voice of the lord because you know it says in, in various different scriptures that the heavenly father speaks through his his what his mouthpiece his mouthpieces 
and who are his mouthpieces, the prophets, right? That's how the Heavenly Father speaks unto the nation of Israel, man. But still, our people don't want to hear it. Our people don't want to hearken. Our people don't want to repent, all right? They have got too comfortable in their wickedness, you see? <laughs> and persecute you. So, you know, we're going to head into a time where we're actually going to be persecuted, you see? If we don't want to bow down and take this MOTV, bow down and be a part of this B system, they're going to persecute us, man. You can read that in um, uh, Revelation 2 and 10 and 3 and 10, you see. But that's fine. We, we understand that this is all prophecy. This is all a part of the prophecy. And ultimately, we are always being tried and tested. And we want to, you know, our hope is that we make it into one of those chariots, man. All right. And that we are saved. And that we meet with Yahweh Shai. And, you know, to be crowned and to be told, well done, my faithful servant. All right. Whilst we're uh, um, watching the destruction of Babylon the Great from up above. All right. That's what we're doing this for. That's why we need not to be ashamed of this truth. Because right now we may be laughing stocks, but guess what? The tables always turn. And soon we're going to be the ones laughing at them, pursuing to Job 5 and, and 22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, all right? You've got to have a heavy spirit on you, heavy spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to be laughing at, at, at people, you know, do, just dwelling in calamities, watching uh, uh, people just starve to death, women just getting raped, ravished, men getting robbed and, you know, being sent up to the spirit world in various different ways, all right? To be laughing at all of that, you have to have a heavy spirit of your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on you. But you know what? That's exactly what we want, all right? The angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him, Psalms 34 and 7, you see? So this is why we need not to be ashamed because these people can't see it now, but they're they're going to see it eventually, man. And it's going to be too late for them. All right. Matthew 5 and 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you. I right? remember things that are written aforetime were written for our learning. All right. So the prophets of old were persecuted. Just like how. We're going to have to head into that time of persecution, man. So, you know, as it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, there's no new thing under the sun. All right. And the Lord will deliver us, man. We just have to have that faith, that unwavering faith. It says in the book of Hebrews that without faith, it is impossible to please him. All right. In fact, let's let's get that real quick. What's that? Hebrews... <laughs> chapter 11 and verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that's literally what his name means that's what yahweh means yahweh means he exists or he is or he to be all right and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so we're always meant to be you know we're, we're meant to be seeking him constantly man all right and we need to be all in not one foot in one foot out we need to be all about this truth all right even when you uh uh you know you you, you wonder a bit in, in in your thought process or whatever it may be it always needs to come back to this truth it needs to make a full circle and come back to this truth man because this is our foundation all right let's go to the book of matthew 10 and this word is what's going to save us lord willing we endure until the end right matthew chapter 10 and 32 reads this is yahweh Shai speaking whosoever therefore shall confess me before men him will i confess also before my father which is in heaven all right so you know you still got these christians calling on jesus these muslims calling on allah buddha Whatever, man. Well, we're meant to confess the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Even if they reject it. Let them know, man. 
And guess, they might not call on that name now, but guess what? When they're in the time of trouble, they're going to call on those names. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? And guess what? The Lord ain't going to hear them, man. He's not going to hear them because they didn't remember that creator in the days of that youth. They didn't seek the Lord as he may be found. The fact that they're still brothers going out on the highways and the byways there's still brothers uploading vi videos on these various streaming platforms so it's showing that the lord is still having mercy on our people man but we know according to amos chapter 8 and 11 that there shall be a famine of the word yet our people still don't want to take this seriously man but you know the same must know it through death by pain okay so our people are literally just gonna have to be uh, taken out of this world and then uh, returning as one of the newborns of the of the elect in the kingdom but they're going to wake up to that shame because they're going to know that they didn't um, um, seek the lord on this side whilst he may be found and they had to die the death of the wicked and be brought back in the kingdom man You know, we're fighting to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. We want to see this thing play out from, from, the, from the very beginning, man. We want to be a part of shackling up the elite rulers of this current world, the heathen nations and rounding them up and giving them tasks. We, we don't want to be brought back in the kingdom, man, when it's already established and, you know, <clears throat> things are set in place. No, we want to be a part of those who are bringing everything in place along with you, Howard Shai, man. All right. Matthew 10 and 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. That's why we need to, you know, be calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We need to let our people know of the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let them know, don't be calling on Jesus, man. Don't be calling on Allah. Don't be calling on Buddha. Don't be calling on the universe, man. Return unto your power, man. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. All right? Because we don't want to be denied, man. Okay? And we know that um, it's going to be the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in which, Lord willing, you know, Certain brothers are going to get spiritual power, all right? And they're going to be doing miraculous acts all in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's why we need to reverence that name, man, okay? Because even if we do get that spiritual power, we're not doing it for our vain glory. We are going to be glorifying and magnifying the names of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, all right? Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 10. When he shall come... To be glorified in his saints. All right, the saints are the Israelites, starting with the elect, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. All right, we need to have the 144% faith. All right, wherefore always we pray for you that our power um, would count you worthy of this calling. You see, we want to be counted worthy, man. We don't want to be seen as unprofitable. We don't want to be spewed out of the Heavenly Father's mouth. All right? That's why we have to remain consistent. That's why we can't be ashamed of this gospel, man. All right? We need to, to, to proclaim this word boldly. All right? Wherefore, always, wherefore, also, we pray always for you that our power would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power that the name of our Lord Yahawashai Hamashiach may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our power and the Lord Yahawashai Hamashiach. All right, so we want to glorify, you know, we want the Lord to raise us up in order for his name to be glorified, man. All right. And that he can be glorified through us. See, this is what we're fighting for. This is why we need not to be ashamed of this truth. Okay, because we, we know and understand, or we should know and understand that the reward is great. All right. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. 
okay and this is a very difficult road right now but guess what he who endures until the end the same shall be saved there's a reason why that's written because this truth is not for everyone you know is is filled with trials and tribulations suffering and it's not gonna get any better man it's only gonna get worse to keep it real all right and the only time it's gonna get better is when we are finally is when we finally receive that salvation and when we enter into the kingdom of heaven all right but you know um what does the heavenly father call it um he calls it light affliction all right what we what we see as as major problems and you know as complete hell the heavenly father said this is light affliction man look second corinthians chapter 4 <laughs> And verse 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, okay, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, all right? So this whole uh, um, heathenistic way, Babylonian customs, all these cars, clothes and hoes that you see, all the money that you see, all the lifestyle that you see, these things are all temporal, man. All right. But the things which are not seen are eternal. The kingdom of heaven, spiritual power, immortality, dominion over the nations. All right. Having the other nations captive. These are things which are currently unseen right now. But guess what? Those things are eternal, man. So set not your hearts on earthly pleasures. All right. Don't fall back into the world. You know, don't start calling on Jesus just because it's cool. And, and, and that's what everyone else is doing. And you're trying to fit in, man. The truth of the matter is, as long as you're in this truth, you will never really fit in, man. You, you won't fit in with those of the world. All right. That's why you need the brotherhood. You see like-minded individuals all right let's go to the book of second Ezra, chapter 7 and we'll start at verse 43 and it reads but the day of doom shall be the end of this time okay so all the cars clothes and holes the money the lifestyle you know the drip whatever it is man okay the day of doom, the day when Yahweh Shai returns, shall be the end of this time, man. Shall be the end of Esau Edom's rule. Shall be the end of our vigorous captivity. All right? And the beginning of the immortality, of the immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. All right? So imagine that. Never dying again. All right? Having a glorified body. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you have the law, statutes, and commandments written in your inward parts. All right, you 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 know you can do anything you want. You can make yourself taller. You can make yourself smaller. You can uh, choose your body type. Whatever, man, you can do whatever. Being absolutely perfect. All right, shining, exuberating a a, a powerful, godly aura, man. Psalms 82 and 6 says, ye are gods, all right? Well, that's what we have coming for us. That's why we need to focus on the things which are, which are not seen. This is why we shall not be ashamed of the gospel, man. Okay? Because the reward is great. Verse 44, intemperance is at an end, you know? You just want more, 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 more. You're never really satisfied, man. All right? That's intemperance. Infidelity is cut off, you know, all, all this um, 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 false doctrines, these false philosophies that Jake want to believe in. They don't want to believe in the truth, right? That's going to be cut off, okay? Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. This truth is springing up right now. More Jakes are waking up to this truth. This truth is, is, is you know, is shaking down the strongholds of this kingdom. All right, the heavenly Father. Um, it is written in the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter two, 
that this world shall be destroyed by the spirit of his mouth. Okay. And who are the mouthpieces of the Lord? The holy prophets. All right. Which are prophesying the downfall of this kingdom. And by us bringing out this word, it is bringing the destruction of this kingdom, man. All right. Verse 45. That no man shall be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. You see? Let's go to 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth in which we have the 100% truth, you know, the men of great millstone, starting with the elder apostle to heart on down. All right. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared man and that's being declared right now okay and look at the end of the day the people that don't want to hearken on to this word now they're gonna have to at some point you see and um um you know that's why you don't want to be ashamed of this truth because at the end of the day they might not receive it now but they're going to receive it later man by death through pain all right. Let's bring out this one final scripture. First Thessalonians chapter four and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Hamashiach, the anointed one shall rise first. So, you know, the truth of the matter is, Certain of us brothers are going to have to lose our lives to this truth, man. Going to have to be martyrs for this truth, man. But it doesn't matter because ultimately we're going to conquer death. And we know that the spirit world <laughs> is way more better than, than being down here, man. All right. But guess what? On top of that, the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Okay. Don't forget that. Then we which are alive... And remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, all right, in those chariots, okay, leading up to 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 the fathership, which Yahweh Shai will be on, all right, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we be, so shall we ever be with the Lord, all right. Wherefore comfort one another with these words, all right. So that's what we do. We bring we we, we teach this word, you know. To comfort the, the elect Because ultimately it's only about the elect right now Alright And you know Knowing these things There's no need to be ashamed of this gospel man Second Ezra 6 Just read uh, Says that um, You know The truth which has been Without fruit for so long Shall finally be declared man Alright And we're seeing uh, These prophecies Popping off the pages Like popcorn man You see so we need to we need to stand boldly for the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, even if it means we have to lose our lives for it, man, because our reward will be great. Focus on the things which you can't see, because those things are eternal. All right. So hopefully this lesson was edifying, and until the next time I say Shalom.